All right, welcome back to another lithium-based uh, code type video where we check out Afaga. So it's not really a coding type video, but it, uh, it is a video uh, to begin with. Um, just like a little bit of a, a status update, quota update, I don't really know. Um, a lot of people, uh, seems on both sides maybe, not really sure, uh, would greatly prefer if uh, I was uh, more positive in all posts. And so that's what going forward will be. Um, uh, I can still give constructive criticism. However, um, uh, I have a butterfly effect that severely uh, hinders uh, the chain. Um, and so um, giving constructive criticism where needed or no criticism at all, or just being uh, absolutely neutral is the best route to proceed. That being said, today we're going to be checking out Alfaga, and let's get into it, right? Um, so, basically today we're just going to be checking out kind of the NFTs that are posted here, as well as making sure that the site is functioning as intended. Um, already there seems to be some type of caching issue. I'm not sure why this happens sometimes and not other times, and so uh, we'll have to get to the bottom of that. Um, Anyways, it seems like the Alf Griffins right now are doing pretty well on the site. Um, a lot of them are being posted, a lot of top NFTs, a lot of Luca Black Magic NFTs, um, and a lot of uh, well, questionable NF uh, NFs, NSW, uh, NSFW uh, related NFTs that probably should be on uh, a page of their own and not on the Explore page where I uh, regularly will probably make content. So uh, that's just kind of my take there. Um, anyways, uh, the next step for Alfaga is to obviously expand development and to, uh, you know, expand out what we can do and can't do with NFTs. Um, theoretically, in a perfect world, there is nothing we can't do with NFTs. And so that leads me to kind of my main uh, synopsis, which is that coming soon, there's going to be a lot of upgrades to this marketplace, not only in the shape of uh, more uh, readily available liquidity to people holding NFTs, uh, but also uh, time-based aspects as well as gamification that will help make this marketplace a beacon of light, um, especially um, uh, with the uh, limited amount of liquidity available for NFT holders currently present. Uh, that means finding a buyer that's willing to buy your NFT uh, rather than uh, say basically an offer for your NFT as like a liquidity type position. Um, and so that's something I think is gonna really gonna be really cool and is gonna be coming fairly shortly. Um, obviously on the Explore NFTs page, um, you know, we have a bunch of different NFTs and so that's very cool to see as well. Again, caching issue, not sure what it is, who knows. The Digger NFT is back. Uh, if you're interested in buying that, uh, it seems to be a hot topic these days. Uh, and if you haven't checked already, we have a bot now in the Discord, which allows you basically to see um, all the NFTs that are then posted. And I'll leave a description and a link to that Discord uh, in the description of this video. Um, as far as uh, general stuff goes, um, NFTs are still going, they're uh, listed. And if we want to unlist an NFT, all we have to do is click edit and we just click on list and it'll ask us for our password in our wallet. You guys can't see the wallet, but it does pop up and we can say that we'll sign that transaction. And we've just unlisted this alpaca here. Um, we have other NFTs here that we can also list such as the Benjamin uh, Gorilla, the Alf Machinima 625 and the Harvest, which actually gives us a notification now saying that it's not on a permanent network, uh, i.e. our weave or something else that offers the same level of impermanence. Uh, but for now, it's either our weave or you're not on a uh, permanently stored uh, network and thus giving holders additional notification as to what NFTs they're buying. So it's very, very exciting to see that. Um, we have uh, also the new collections page, or not the collections page, the new uh, my uploads page. And so you can see that if you haven't had any uploads, then they're gonna be here. I do believe that I have tried uploading some stuff though, so I'll go to that real quick and I'll connect up with the extension wall to demonstrate the uploads. Um, I think I tried doing a few, let's see here. Um, not on this account, hold on. Let's see here. Um, 
it's hard to say which account it really was, to be honest. Sorry. Um, all right, let's see here. Maybe it's this account here. Um, and so we can check my uploads. No uploads found. Hmm. Maybe it's only fetching new uploads. I'm not sure. Um, I have to check. Uh, it's on one of my wallets. I know that I uploaded something, and so that's present. That being said, you can see all your NFTs listed here, uh, like such again. And you can see that um, like if we wanted to click edit on this and we wanted to unlist it, we could instantly unlist this NFT and boom, it's being unlisted. Um, so very, very cool stuff. And Alfaga Marketplace is definitely evolving. I'm excited to see where it goes. And uh, remember buying 20K of the token does give you a 50% discount on all listings that you uh, make, meaning that you as the seller can rake in more profits on the NFTs that you sell. Um, for now, that's all I got, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.